Okay, it's working. Hi everybody, it's Jennifer McCreeth. Got a question for you folks. If you needed to have heart surgery, would you call a surgeon? Or would you call a police officer? Seems like a pretty straightforward question. Okay, how about this one? You're having a mental health emergency. Do you call a mental health professional? Or do you call the police station? <sighs> Interesting little story in the news here. Seven-year-old handcuffed. Got to give it to you, CBC. You sure know how to sensationalize a story, but you're wrong. This is not a police issue, and it's not about the police. This is a health care issue. We have a Minister of Health, Dr. John Hagee. We've got a huge staff of people who work for the Department of Health who are making mega bucks. And the best they got to offer can't even calm down a seven-year-old child who's having a mental health breakdown. Why are we paying them? They should either be fired or retrained. What happened to competencies? What happened to skill set? Why is it that we call the police to solve everybody else's problems? They're busy enough dealing with criminal issues. That's their mandate. Justice and criminal issues. They shouldn't have to take on health care too. If you want to be angry at anyone, be angry at the Minister of Health, Ministerial Accountability. This is on you, John Hagee. Why is it? We supposedly have free health care. We have great health care here in Canada, right? We got a Canada Health Act. Talks about how great we are. We've got federal transfers to the province. Why can't we even fucking train our professionals in the healthcare, the mental health field to properly deal with people in crisis situations? I used to work at a police station, so I know how, how often they get dragged into this stuff. That's not their mandate. It's kind of like bringing in a surgeon to make an arrest. A heart surgeon. I want you to go down and arrest Buddy and put him in the back seat of a car and take him down to the jail cell. I want you to be the lawyer that argues in front of a judge why he should be criminally charged. No, it's not the way that works. It's not the way this should work either. I think it's time for the Department of Justice to stand up to the Department of Health and say, we're not going to do your job for you anymore. You may not like it, but that's the truth. Because I always tell it like it is. Until next time, I'm Jennifer McCreese. Thanks for listening.